The magic of Tony Robbins. Welcome to this video where I'm going to share with you the exact techniques that Tony Robbins uses with his entrepreneur, millionaire clients, to his top level athletes, to the average person who attends his live events all over the world every single year. Essentially, what Tony does is he's able to use mental techniques like neuro-linguistic programming, also known as NLP, to take people from states of being disempowered and feeling like a victim and transition them into a state of empowerment and feeling like a victor. So before I tell you exactly how you could do this in your own life, a little recap on who I am and what's going on this channel here. So my name is Brandon Epstein and this channel is dedicated to mental fitness training. What you train is your focus and choices to help you better control how you feel, how you behave, and what you create in your life. So what Tony Robbins is doing here is right in the same bucket of what I always talk about on this channel. So how do you go from perceiving past events in your life as things are disempowering and basically roadblocks to your progression to transitioning into a state of seeing those past events in your life as opportunities to grow, to learn, and to become empowered, to become better. Well, it all starts with your perception. And this is a big thing that Tony plays with, with NLP. See, a lot of what he does in person is he does state break. So someone might start telling him what their story is and get really emotional about it and he just interrupts their pattern and what it is is a pattern because we've been running the same pattern forever based off these past events in our life and the meaning that we give them and when he breaks that pattern he kind of forces you into a quantum shift where you're into a different energy space where you can start to view the events in your past differently than you did and start to create a new meaning for them so although we don't have Tony Robbins here to work with us personally, you can start to do this in your own life through some very simple techniques that I'll be sharing with you right now. So first, I want you to understand how your subconscious mind works. Essentially, your subconscious mind is the supercomputer that holds all the memories from your past, holds on to your beliefs, and those beliefs end up creating the perception that you experience when you look around the world and you experience the world around you, right? So, Let's say someone earlier on in their life, they went through some kind of physical or sexual abuse as a kid. They may hold on to the subconscious belief that I cannot trust someone or I'm going to get hurt. And so that can create a whole bunch of issues for them as they go forward in their life, as they try to create intimate relationships, family relationships, friendships, and so on. And so how do we transition from seeing all these, these negative events that we've experienced as disempowering events and instead switching them over to being events that now empower us to live a life that we do want. Well, here it is. It all starts with your story. Your story is something that you repeat to yourself all the time in your own head, in your own thoughts, and you repeat to other people. If you are someone who, act... your story is something that you repeat to yourself in your own head and you repeat to other people uh, when you're talking about events from the past. So as long as you're continuing to talk about your story as if you're a victim, you're gonna stay a victim going forward. When you're able to change a story and you're able to talk about it as something that was an opportunity for you to grow or to learn, no matter how terrible it was, and to be able to leverage those experiences to show up with more empathy, more caring, more power here in the present moment, that's how you change your story. And so a lot of people don't wanna do this because it's easier to stay in a state of victimhood, right? Like I've experienced this before in my life. I had uh, some early businesses in my 20s where I failed miserably and I could have just looked at those events and said, hey, entrepreneurship isn't for me. I'm not good at business. I'm not smart enough for this. I'm too dumb. I don't know how to manage money. I give up. But instead, I took those past events and just looked at them as opportunities to grow and learn. I saw, hey, I'm not good at this, I'm not good at this, I'm not good at this. Well, how can I learn from those things, get better at them, and create better results in the future? And so that's what I've done, and that's how I've grown my businesses. I've looked at all those negative events in the past, and I've created an empowering meeting for them, and I've gone from being a victim to, oh, woe is me, why did this happen, why did this person screw me over? Why did all these bad things not happen? Or why did all these bad things happen to me to those were opportunities to grow and learn. And now I am a victor. I am using those opportunities to leverage them to push me forward. And it's just a part of my empowering story. So that's you right here and now. I want you to write down what, it, what are the stories that you keep telling yourself over and over and over again about your past that are leading you to feel less confident 
and just less willing to take risks right now or here in the present moment. Because I know you have all the potential in the world and the only thing that holds you back is these negative subconscious beliefs that have been ingrained because you have a story that's disempowering and keeps you in a state of victimhood. Now, I don't care how terrible the circumstances that you've gone through in the past, it has to become a choice of yours to transition from a victim to a victor if you wanna move forward. There are people like Viktor Frankl from uh, the book Man's Search for Meaning. He was a guy who had to live through the Holocaust and no matter how terrible all those events were, he used those events and used his mind to create an empowering meaning around what it can mean going forward. And maybe he, at the time, he could have thought he had no potential to ever get out, no potential to ever be free again, but it didn't matter. We always have the opportunity to create an empowering meaning that takes us from victimhood to becoming a victor. So for you right now, you can just pause this video, write down what are the disempowering stories that you're continuing to live by. And then you can hit play again, and I want you to now take that disempowering story and rewrite it in a way that empowers you to say, hey, no matter how negative or bad these events were in the past, I'm going to leverage them as ways to develop more empathy, more mental toughness, more ability to overcome adversity in the future because the more you've been able to overcome in the past, the more mental resilience you're gonna have, the more advantage you have going forward. And the only way you can change this perception is through repetition. So you have a couple ways to ingrain this repetition. You can, number one, just start to tell your story a different way. For me as well, I went through some sexual abuse when I was younger and it made me feel really low in confidence. But once I retold the story to myself and I empowered myself and took myself from being a victim to being a victor, now I can talk about it openly and it just flows from me. And now I can show up in all the areas of my life that I care about most with more empathy because of the experiences that I've had. Now we've all been through something and I know that you have a story and some of those stories may be holding you down. So you have to let go of those negative stories that are disempowering you. You have to make a choice. You have this one life to make a choice to create a new story. And once you've written out that new story of the positive meaning that you're taking out of this, not that the events were positive, but the positive meaning saying, I guilt, I built these new skills, this new mental resilience, this ability to overcome. I've learned these things and I've grown in this way to show up bigger and better in my life going forward. So once you have that written out, I want you to start to read that every single day, just to make it a part of your story. And if you're telling people about your past life experiences, whether it's a failed business or some kind of negative event that's happened in the past, whether it's a terrible relationship or whatever it might be for you, I want you to use that as an opportunity to tell your story in an empowering way. It's so easy for us just to want to become a victim and have people feel bad for us and tell our story as a sob story. But instead, I'm inviting you the opportunity to definitely share that story from a place of, yes, this happened to me, but from a place of now I'm empowered and I'm a victor and I'm not a victim anymore. Because as long as you stay stuck in the state of victimhood, you're gonna be stuck in the past. Basically your mind, your subconscious mind is frozen in the past. And because of that, all the perceptions that you're gonna have going forward are gonna be living in the past. They're gonna be attached to this past negative event. So you need to rewrite the story and then going forward, I want you to start taking action. So we all have two things that we have control over, which I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Your focus, which is that story you're rewriting and retelling yourself, and then your choices. So I want you to ask yourself, what have you shied away from, whether it's relationships or taking risk in business or in any area of your life? I want you to go out and start taking big actions that align with the life that you wanna live so you can start to step past and move through those old programs you were running before. So focus and choices, that's what you have 100% control over and that's all you have control over. You'll never be able to change the past, you're never gonna be able to change the future circumstances. What you do have control over in any given moment is your focus and your choices. And so I'm sure if Tony Robbins was here, he could give you a much more eloquent and articulate description of how he does what he does. And he does many different things, but this is one of them and he calls it reframing. And this is what I wanna encourage you to do. If you've been through negative events in your past, Make the choice to reframe right now to 
pick yourself out of that victimhood state, start to become a victor by rewriting your story and taking the actions that align with the life that you now want to live. And I promise you, it may not be super easy, but if you stay consistent, everything can change for you, all right? So stay consistent with those focus and choices. And if you're someone who wants help with this process, I do have a mental fitness training course in community that helps people awaken their awareness and then systematically move through this reprogramming progression of starting to look at all these old beliefs, reprogram them, empowering yourself, and creating a life going forward where you can control how you feel, how you behave, and what you create. So if you're interested in that, I will link up the group right below here that has the video modules and the accountability group for you to get some support. So thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Again, please let me know. The whole point of this video was for you to understand the power of reframing your story to create empowering meaning so you can have a more empowering life going forward. Happy to help any way I can. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check me out on Instagram. I'm all of the internet. Thank you, and I'll catch you in the next video.